save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, chilling on top of this house in Hateno Village, hoping you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. Alright, I'll take this armor off, it's a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> I do like it though, it is a cool looking armor. Um, I'm actually going to put on the ancient armor because we are going to go dye it real quick. I want to change it from yellow to something else. Just, just. Not because I don't like the yellow, I do, but, you know, we've had the yellow for a little while, and I feel like it's time to change it. It's only 20 rupees, so why not? And also, while we are in Hateno Village, I'm going to continue the quest to get my own house. And also, guys, we're going to do some more EX trust, uh, treasure hunting in this video, so this is going to be exciting. Alright, yeah, now I see why I picked yellow. It's pretty awesome. Black looks good to you. I guess that's called Sage. Oh, no, it's black. Okay. Sage is the guy talking. Um, oh, man. I don't know, man. You got to pick one that goes with the orange colors that are, like, happening within the, the armor itself. Light yellow isn't too bad. Ah, you know what? I might just go all black on this one just for the time being. Oh, ingredients. Um, right. Oh, yeah, flint. There you go. All right, let's change it from yellow to black and see how that looks. I don't even remember what the default color is for this. <laughs> you can't even see his eyes hardly. Oh, man. I love the animations they put in this game. All right, so it's not that black, but... I mean, I guess it's definitely blacker than the, than the yellow we had. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, is there any other armor sets I want to die? I'm thinking maybe like the barbarian armor set if I can. Let's see. Can I die this? I think I can. Cool. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna actually wear the barbarian set too often, but because there's just other armor sets that have. Okay, it it actually changes the color of the tattoos as well, which I like, or body paint or whatever that is. Wow. Hmm. Red actually isn't that bad. I might do red. Yeah, let's do let's do crimson. Um I never use these Chica <laughs> Chicaloo tree nuts, yeah. Go for it. I didn't even know I had those. Yeah, the red, the red uh, will look way better than the purpley blue looking paint it is now. Make me look more like a blood warrior. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Way better for barbarian armor, don't you guys agree? I will say the the bit of bone attached to like his right arm looks really cool. All right, yeah, that looks way better already. And then any other armor sets I want to die. I mean, I, I could maybe do like the rubber armor, the climbing set. Yeah, let's do the climbing set. I, I've never died this one either. This will be the last one I die today. We'll probably do more dying later, but three in one day or three in one episode is plenty. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, this changes almost the entire set. Wow. Um. What do you guys think? I'm thinking green. Let's go green on this one. Uh, for this. Yeah, I don't really care about these things. Alright, here we go. It doesn't look bad, like, normally as it is, but. Oh well. Let's do green. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, that's all. That's all. That's all I needed from you, Sage. Now that we're all colorful, 
let's continue the quest over here to get our own, very own home, which is something that I've actually never done in this game. This is my third time playing the game. I've never actually done this. I think I did do it one time, but I never actually did anything with the house. And I think you could actually put, like, armor or, like, weapons or shields in the house or something. So let's actually check this out over here. I started the quest, and I wanted to talk to the dude, but he wouldn't take the bundles of wood. I don't know if you remember that from, like, 20 episodes ago, but... Alright, here he is, chilling by the fire. Hi. Hey! You ready to deliver 30 wood bundles? Yes. Okie doo. Oh, 3,000 rupees? Yeah, that's fine, too. There's a weapon mount in there that's never sold. Consider it a housewarming gift. Hope you get some use out of it. I was going to send Hudson up Akala way to clear some land. Cool, cool. Alright, so I think it's our home now. You bought the house in Hatuna Village for 3,000 rubies. Bolson generously furnished a weapon rack inside your empty home as a housewarming gift. The place is still pretty bare, though. If you talk to Bolson, he might be able to help you with that. Oh, really? Oh. He's been transferred... He's exp expanding big time, big expansion. He's going to north of Zora's domain. Oh, wow, he, he actually just takes off. There's actually a cutscene for him to leave. What is that music? Whoa. Okay, now he's gone. From the ground up. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, now can I buy more things for my house? Um, yeah. My house is empty and depressing. 5,000 more rupees? Oh, let's start at 100. Gear displays, installations, house exterior. Oh my gosh, you could do all this stuff. Gear displays. Ooh, let's do a bow mount. I did not even know you could do all this stuff. Can I just buy everything at once? Like, Hi. Carson, we are on. Wow, that was amazing. Pretty flawless, if I do say so myself. You should take a look. Mm. Uh, bef oh, okay. All right, let's take a look at our new home, I guess. All righty. That's, uh, that's, that's about it, huh? Oh, that's cool. There's actually a hanging rack up here. Peep. Peep. Okay, that you can't go on. Oh my gosh, you can display whatever weapon you're holding. Oh man, how about the Master Sword? You cannot display the Master Sword. Why not? Um, how about the Savage Lino Crusher? Oh man, that is a nice looking weapon. That I'm gonna keep. Um, we will display the Savage Lino Spear for now. There you go. And for the bow, yeah, we'll display the, the Twilight Bow. Oh, nice. Yeah, I never use that bow much anyway, so... We need to start using these lino bows. Oh my goodness, I have so many. Cool, can I make, like, more weapon racks and stuff now? Oh. Installations. Bed, lighting, door? Uh, I got some bed. Oh. Can I just buy everything you can offer in one shot? Do I have to pick every single item one by one? Look at his little hammer with the pink handle on his waist. Oh my gosh, that's cute. 
Carson, what are you doing? Let's go. Well, it's really coming along. Take a look if you get a chance. All right, let's look at my new bed real quick. Nice. I have a bed. And I can sleep. Guess I'm sleeping in my house for the first time, guys. All right, um, I'm not gonna sit here and up upgrade my house the entire episode. Um, so let's go do, I wanna go explore. Yeah, I feel the same way, Link. Let me stretch. Uh, yeah. Look at that scabbard for the Master Sword. All right. So, the questing that we are going to do is for the EX chests, which the only ones we have left are the Merchant Hood and the Fairy Clothes. So, let's do the Merchant Hood first, I guess. This one is in the right hand of the dragon that consumes the Spring of Courage at Drakozu Lake. And I already went and found all these, so Drakozu Lake... Oh shoot, I actually kind of forgot. Actually, no, it's right here. So here's Drakozu Lake. And then, I've never actually even been here, but I can already see. See, there's the head of a dragon right here. And then there's his left hand and his right hand right here. And it said it's in his right hand, so I know it's right there. Uh, the question is, how do we get there? So I think I'm going to have to warp to the top of the Dueling Peaks again and fly on down. All the way down to that spring of Drakozu Lake, which is supposed to probably look really cool. I, I, I've i seen the uh, the outline of the dragon head there, but like I said, I never traveled there, so I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like. And then the other uh, EX chest is the fairy clothes, which is basically Tingle's outfit, and we have to find the head, the body, and the feet for that. So, total of four EX chests that we are looking for here. So I need to go southwest. Let's just get a little boost. Not much of a boost, to be honest. Alright, so I'm going this way. I think it's way over here, so I'm not even sure. I'm taking cold damage, but that'll stop. There we go. A little bit warmer temp now. Oh, it is actually over here. Okay, so it's right over here. Ooh, Korok seed. Come on, baby! That didn't work! Oh man, am I gonna make it? Oh yeah, easily. I thought it was one of the ones where you have to shoot the targets, but... Dang, we're almost at 50 Koroks! Alright. Oh yeah, there it is. I can already see the giant head, head of the dragon. The fangs and everything. So we're going back into the jungle, guys. Welcome to the jungle, baby. It seems peaceful, but this place is usually crawling with enemies. As I suspected. You know what? I don't even care if you call all your friends. Oh, shock arrows. That's what you want to use on me? Oh. That's alright. I got full rubber armor, baby. 
which I need to upgrade. Oh, no, it's all level two, so it's unshockable. Cool, I already upgraded that. Easy. Let's summon Wolf Link, though, because he will definitely help us here. These are weaker enemies, and he specializes in weaker enemies, don't you, Wolf Link? You guys know I'm unshockable. You practically can't even hurt me. I'm gonna get a lot of shock arrows with this. Oh, Silver Boy! Maybe I'll take out all the archers first. So they stop shooting at us with these shock arrows that are so annoying. Now ready to roll. Oh my gosh, I tried to do bullet time and it miserably failed. Wolf Lake, don't die on me! Oh wow, you're not even getting touched. What a good dog. Here's some shock arrows for ya. Let's simmer down, shall we? Simmer down. Hardly doing any damage. And he's not even a golden one. Thank you. Wolf Link, you didn't even get touched. You are such a good boy. Alright, I'm taking this armor off because it looks kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's do the new ancient set, all black. Oh, hello. Is this your weapon? <laughs> I just wanted to use all my Urbosa's Fury so it could start recharging again. I'll take that. Ooh, a gold rupee. Spring of courage. Actually, I think we have uh, enough spirit orbs. You have done well to find this spring. Offer ferocious, ferocious scale received from the golden spirit to the spring of courage. Oh, do I have ferocious uh, scale? Um, I thought I did. Do I not have any uh, dragon scales? Really? None? Dang, I thought I had. Uh, I thought I had plenty of these. I guess not. Excuse me. I got the hiccups. Wow. I don't have any of the dragon scales, huh? Either that or I'm just blind, but... Oh, here we go. Farage scale. Cool, I got Dinral scale, too. I got three of these. Easy. There you go. Wait, is this gonna be for a shrine? Nice. Nice! Wasn't even trying to get a shrine and we got a shrine. Your path has shown itself, now go forth. A scale for a shrine, all right? But really all I wanted to do was pray. Heart container. Heart container's in the chat! 
Another heart, baby. I'm still getting one shot by the most powerful Lionel, so more hearts is still useful. It's not like we're so powerful that we don't need them anymore. We still need more hearts for sure. Thank you. All right, let's get the uh, shrine really quick. I doubt this is a blessing, right? The Shea Katha Shrine, let's do it. And now we'll be able to warp to this uh, area as well because we have the shrine, so. Very cool. What do you guys think? Is it gonna be a blessing or an actual puzzle? I'm gonna say it's gonna be an actual puzzle, but I don't know, it's probably 50-50. If there's water, it's a blessing. Ah, oh, it's a blessing. Ah. Oh. What do we get? Ooh, a thunder spear. And I actually had room for it. All right. And we got another spirit orb right off the bat. I did not intend to do this stuff at all this video, but that's, I guess, what happens when you're just playing this game. You, you <laughs> Even if you think you have, like, an objective in mind, Chances are pretty good that you're gonna get sidetracked along the way in this game. There's just so much that you can't ignore when you see it that you have. I mean, you can, but you just don't want to because you might forget that it's even there. Anyways, we need to go find the EX chest. It should be in the 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 claw of the hand of. We're we're inside the head of the dragon. I think we need to go back outside. All right, we got the we got the spirit orb, thunder spear, all that good stuff. All right. Yeah, this giant uh, statue. All right, here's the claw. I have no idea where the chest is, so we're gonna have to look. But ah, there we go. Oh, come on, Link. You're master climber. Here we go. Pretty hidden, hidden chest, too. Ravio's hood. Hood of a traveling merchant who had a bracelet that could turn the wearer into painting. Wearing it increases your sideways climbing speed. What? Wearing this increases my sideways climbing speed? We're going to have to test that. That is a very strange thing. All right, cool. We found the merchant hood. Before I leave, I want to walk out in front of the statue a little bit and then turn and look at it just to see what it looks like. Are you kidding me? Pretty cool. So you have chosen death. Dummy. This place is actually really cool. Are there any other chests around here? I bet you there's Korok Seed or something, man. There's so much in this area. It's so cool looking. Let's just go down river a tiny bit. The jungle is one of the coolest areas that I've not really f ever fully explored, but let's not get sidetracked here. So I'm going to delete that stamp. Now, the next EX chest is the last uh, quest, but there's three EX chests. The fairy clothes. So... Uh, the first one's at the ruins where trade flourished, and then there's one at the ruins where sinners were imprisoned, and there's a village ruins next to farmland where people once got. So, um, the, the ruins where trade flourished, that is, uh, let's see, Hyrule Field, it's about right here, I think. So, this is like a trading post camp, we're gonna go to Kam Yatak Shrine. I don't know exactly where the chest is, I just know it's in that area, so... We will have to look for it. And knowing me, when it comes to looking for chests and ruins, I'm usually pretty bad at finding them, but we'll see how it goes. By the way guys, if you enjoy the video at any time, please drop a like, it really helps me out. And uh, definitely subscribe for more Zelda. Alright, so we're here, we're gonna go southeast. Cookie, let's go. And let's get somewhere out here just in case we run into some trouble. Always good to have him around. Well, I shouldn't say always, but you know what I mean. Definitely not so good for stealth missions, but it's all good. 
All right, so hopefully we'll find some uh, guardians around here too, because I do need more guardian parts to upgrade my armor more. So the chest I'm thinking is in these ruins where trade flourished. These are the exchange ruins. They really should have made it so he jumped forward when I'm holding forward to get off the chest. All right, well, there's a chest in the water, but I saw this chest first. It's actually not a terrible weapon. Um, yeah, I'll take it instead of the spear. I'm surprised there's no uh, enemies or guards or anything, like, in this area. Let's grab this chest out of the water. Maybe this is the EX chest. No, nope, another gold. Oh, Korok. Hello. Come back. He, like, walked right into me and I almost got him. 50 Korok seeds. Wow. Alright, let's get this. Oh, it could, the EX chest could even be in those rooms over there. Only a 50 rupee. Alright, let's look around a little bit. We should be able to find this chest. Somewhere in these ruins. What's this? Just chucking this thing out. Alright. Maybe over here? Another chest. Not the one I'm looking for, but let's check it out. Ten arrows. Alright. We take those. Oh, there's a shrine right there. I already did. Where is the chest? I know it's in these ruins. The exchange ruins, I remember that much. Alright, it's gotta be over here somewhere, guys. I'm just terrible at finding these chests in the ruins. I know they're in the exchange ruins, so if we keep looking around, I, for sure we're gonna find it. I must have walked right by it at some point. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? It was right next to the Korok. Oh my gosh. All right. Hey, we got Tingle's Hood. There was once a man who claimed to be a very re the very reincarnation of a fairy. He treasured this hood and so will you. After all, it's a rather rare find. Kulu Limpa. Okay, I'm not going to equip it until we get the whole set. Let's see, uh, next part is at the ruins where sinners were imprisoned. This is in the prison, the Hyrule Castle prison, which is over in this area. So let's head over to the Noyo Neha shrine, which I already have, thankfully. That'll cut the distance way down. And the prison is very close nearby. At least I think this is where the prison is. It could, it's either on the, on the west side or the east side of the castle, but I'm pretty sure it's on the west side, so... We shall see. I'm so like sleepy this morning. Oh, and for everybody who is interested, Brahalla is now available on iPhone and Android. Or I should say iOS and Android, because it's on iPads and all that good stuff. Ooh, let's break all these. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. And if you get the, uh, if you download Rahala on your phone or tablet right now, you will get a free Bodvar skin. Just throwing that out there. All right, let's see. Maybe we'll fight some guardians. Who needs climbing gear when you have full stamina? <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, yeah, we're we're gonna kill that dude. Uh, 
I'm trying to get his attention before he flies away. Too late. This is actually a pretty cool forest right outside the, the castle. Right around this mountain is where we're going. I should probably stop using so many shock arrows, huh? Double kill! One shot. shooting me did the did the drone see me where is it let's go up here and we'll fight him I want to kill the drone I want those ancient parts you know what I'm saying where'd it go there it is hey dum-dum Oh, now we got his attention. <laughs> You're not looking too good, buddy. are over. You will terrorize this land no more. Oh, you called in a friend for help? That's cute. That's really cute. What do you got? Huh? 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 What you got? Good job, Daruk. Holy cow, more than one. Okay. Oh, that one hurts, doesn't it? That one hurts. I feel bad for you. Holy cow. He's mad, he's very mad. And he's dead. Too bad I don't have any ancient weapons. We need to go get more of those, because with this full ancient set, it does so much. Alright, let's see. So much damage. The chest should be around here somewhere. Oh. Is this it? Wow, we found it that fast. Tingle shirt. Perfect. Wait a minute. That's a rare beetle. Got it. And Korok? Wait. He wants a rusty shield. Where's the other rusty shield? What? That's actually really clever. Um, let's look around a little bit for the rusty shield. Where could it be? There's rusty shields everywhere and now I can't find one. When you actually want one, you like can't find anything. What's this? A Korok puzzle thing? Wait a minute. I wasn't even looking for you, but I found you. Oh wow, we are over time, but that's okay. I want to find the last uh, tingle thing. Tingle armor in this episode. If we go over a little bit, it is what it is. I really wish I could find the uh, the other rusty shield while we're here. 
Urbosa's fury is ready. Thank you, Urbosa. You're probably the best power up that I have. Alright, I don't see any more rusty shields anywhere around here. Oh wait, there it is. There it is. We found it. We're gonna bring this bad boy all the way over here. <laughs> Man, we're getting a lot of Korok seeds. This this video. All right, so the last area that we have to go real quick is the village ruins next to farmland where many people once gathered. This one's a little harder. Um, let me remember. I think it's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is next to farmland. This is the green belt farmland, and this is a village. So that's where we need to go. We're actually kind of far. Let's warp to the tower real quick. Central tower, we can just fly down real quick. Hopefully, again, there's some more guardians so we can kill them for their ancient parts because I'm really trying to upgrade all my stuff. I would love to get the ancient armor all the way to level four. You know what I'm saying? I think level four is the highest, right? Is it either level four or level five? All right, so I need to go this way, right? Yeah, it's actually more like that way. A little bit of a speed boost. That one was way too far. Let's go, Cookie. Yeah. Just riding in Hyrule Field at night. Just chilling. This is such a great wide open field. I love it. I feel like I'm like just happy just riding here even though it's nighttime yeah. look at the mist everywhere it's so beautiful yeah. all right we found another guardian cool let's go kill him real quick huh. hey big boy yeah. <laughs> don't walk away from me So the last chest should be somewhere in here. And I have no idea where. And it's another ruin, which means it's going to be hard for me to find. But we'll see what we can do. Hopefully I find it right away. I don't even really want the duplex bow.
But I guess I'll take it. Always slimes in those buckets, man. Alright, where is this chest? Ooh, another walker guardian over there. Oh, come on, Rivali, you're so slow. Thank you, Daruk. At least you're useful. Ow. Ow. Not the tree link. There we go. So hard to hit these legs when he's moving around so much. Once you get the first leg, it should be over because it's pretty easy. He gets stunned long enough to where you get to the next leg. Knock them all out. Alright, I'll heal. Just a little bit though. Alright, where is this chest? Oh! Wow, that was really hidden. It's literally underneath the guardian. That's awesome. Yep. Hey, we found it. We got the full tingle set of armor, guys, and that completes all the EX treasure. All right, so let's see what we got. We got Rav uh, Ravio's hood. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. All right, so let's see how fast it makes the sideways climb speed. Here's vertical. Right here, sideways. It actually is like twice as fast, but it's also pretty useless. All right, here is the full tingle set. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny, dude. Oh man. I want to I want to rest uh, so we could actually see this. Do I not have fire? Oh my gosh, where is the flint? Don't stand in the fire, Link. Alright, let's rest till noon so it's daylight. Seems like every time I'm playing this game for you guys, it's either raining or it's night. The game looks most beautiful during the day. There we go. Alright. There's Tingle's armor, guys. Link, the hero of time. <laughs> Hence why he has the, the stopwatch on his chest. Here to save the day. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Breath of the Wild content. Next episode, guys, we are going to be doing something extra special. So I hope to see you guys in that video. Take it easy, guys.